Becoming a leader isn't just about getting a job title. It's about embodying leadership quality that inspire and guide others. Just recently, I had a conversation with my coaching client whereby he shared his goal of moving into a leadership position. However, he wanted to get ready so that when the time comes next year, he'll be prepared to take on the new role. So he asked me how he could start preparing himself. And I told him you have to act like a leader before you can become one. You see, when people want to take on a leadership role, they usually think about who they want to be as a leader, what they are good at, what they believe in, and they work hard to learn and improve themselves through education and training. However, based on my perspective, I believe that it doesn't set the stage to prepare them for the leadership role because their current way of thinking about themselves is exactly what's keeping them from stepping up. That's why before taking on a leadership role, they have to first change their mindset. And there's only one way to do that. It is by acting differently. It means they can proactively take on something new and step out of their comfort zone. For example, number one, they can volunteer themselves to lead new projects and activities that are outside their job scope. This gives them a new experience to learn how to manage and work with people from outside the organization. Next, number two, they can go to networking events or join a club to interact with different kinds of people. By doing that, it helps them to gain a diversity of views and building a new network that can be useful to them in the future. And lastly, as we know, people are often too comfortable in doing things in their own ways. So what they can do is to experiment with unfamiliar ways of getting things done. And when they start to doing things differently, they learn from the experience which leads them to changing their perspectives of seeing things in a new way. So to sum up, leadership is a continuous journey which involves ongoing experiences, learning and development. And I believe that who you are as a leader is not the starting point of your development journey, but rather the outcome of learning about yourself through experience. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.